What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out High Risers. This is the full release version of the game. You may have had a chance to play the demo over the course of like the Steam Next Fest or the one that came previously. I never quite got around to it because those are very, very busy times and at best I can only make like seven videos a week. But anyways, this is a game in the zombie apocalypse where you have a team of survivors that are stranded on the roof of a high rise. And basically the goal is to work your way down the building to get enough supplies to repair a helicopter while at the same time holding back zombies, attempting to keep them from coming up and wiping everybody out and killing everybody. And you also have to keep everybody fed, you gotta keep everybody watered. Uh, it's also got some RPG elements where your characters all have different specializations and they're good at different stuff. One guy's like a mechanic, another person's like a scientist and makes explosives and things of that nature. So anyways, this is a very, very granular game. It's got a lot of stuff going on. I've only played like a little bit. I played the demo for about 30 minutes when it came out and I played about 20 minutes before this just to get a feel for the controls one more time and sort of remind myself how to play but if after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself I got a link for you down below that's gonna be right next to my discord and my twitch stream it is very very likely that I may try to stream this game because I feel like this is one of those that like 25 minutes is not gonna do it but we'll give it our best go and hopefully by the end of this you'll have an idea if it's the right game for you let's dive straight on in uh there is no tutorial spoiler alert um, there's just, like, a thing going on. Like, as far as I know, like, the last time I went through and there was no real tutorial, it kind of just had this thing splash up, and then you could take a look at it. Alright, so we can use the scroll wheel to go up and down, well, if it's gonna load. Hmm, got ahead of myself. I was gonna try to explain the controls, but I guess we'll just look at the loading screen for a second. There we go. Now we're in the business. So there's our helicopter. It is in rough shape. It's not looking great. Uh, we have four survivors right now. We have Jess, we have Ike, we have Anne, and we have Mo. Uh, and these guys all have various things. The game is randomized, in case you were wondering. Uh, this floor right here, all these floors are different depending on your playthrough. And so the things you're going to be able to seek out and do are going to change. Uh, let's begin by salvaging some stuff on the roof. Uh, we can use the number keys to select our survivors. Uh, so there is going to be a little bit of like a micromanagey element to the game that I think you're going to have to kind of get a hold of. Pretty much everything is interactable. Uh, so if you see it in the background, it can be interacted with. Let's take Mo down to the next floor and see if he's got anything down here that we wanted to play around with. So there's some screws on the floor. There's some wood, and it looks like there's some boards. So that'll help out. It looks like on the shelf over here we've got some steel, we've got some gears, we've got a battery, axle grease. Looks like we've got some adhesive right there. Let's go down to the next floor, and I'm going to make like a food run, basically. I'm going to focus on finding as much food as possible. We can't break that open because we don't have a blunt weapon, so unfortunately that's not really going to be a great idea. It looks like we can put a water jug on this to siphon water from it, if we can find that. There's a bandage over there. There's a punching bag. It looks like we can probably take this apart. Yeah, we can take that apart right there. Uh, let's get everybody else down to this floor right here. And then it looks like we can disassemble treadmills, but I wanted to focus on food, so that's what we're going to do first. Uh, inside the freezer, it looks like there's a beverage. It looks like there's another beverage right there, and it looks like there's a blender on that side. I don't know if the blender is going to be immediately helpful. Looks like we let the sand out of the bag right there. Okay. Uh, can you disassemble the wall bars? Good. Okay, let's bring Jess down here, and we'll continue our scavenging. If we can find something blunt, we can break our way on into there, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Oh, she's still working on that task, so I guess we'll use Ike. Uh, what do you guys have going on up here? You've got metal panels, wires, propellers, metal rebar. Okay, yeah, I know the helicopter needs repairs. We've got a bunch of beverages over here that have spilled all over the place in the chaos of the end of the world, as they tend to do. So there we go. We'll grab some of those. Can't break that one open just yet, but there is a fridge over here, so we'll check that. Looks like there's another drink inside the mini fridge. Uh, the zombies start out on the bottom floor, and they work their way upwards, which means you should have a little bit of breathing room at, at the beginning of the game to kind of help you out. If you want to disassemble that, that would be great. And if you want to disassemble that, that would be great. I'd like to keep everybody kind of, like, working so that in the weird chance we end up needing things, we'll already be ready to roll. There's a bunch of cloth over here. It looks like there's a computer we can disassemble. Is there anything inside the filing cabinet? No. Uh, there's a broken fire axe thing right there, which is kind of a bummer. Oh, canned food. Hold on. That's what we're looking for. All right, down lower. Uh, we've got alcohol over here. I'll take that. That's kind of a food. I mean, it's not entirely a food, but it's sort of a food. Canned food over here. It looks like there's a strawberry plant, and it is somewhat filled. Yeah, we'll grab that. It looks like if we water it, it will actually grow. 
And so maybe that's actually replenishing. It doesn't look like there's anything that I can really fiddle with over on this side. What is Mo doing, by the way? What do we have? What, Mo, what are you doing right here? Break down that counter for me, would you? Like, we're probably going to need wood at some point in order to survive. And so I'm going to see how low I can get before I run into zombies. Doesn't look too bad. I think we'll be okay. Your characters level up at the beginning of each day, as far as I know. And there's some cardboard over here. That one's got... Well, that one, I thought it had like a watermelon on it, so I thought maybe there'd be food inside of it, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, there's a whole bunch of wood waste down here, like a whole mess of it. Uh, it also looks like we've got brushes. Is everybody else done already? Oh, you guys are finished over here. Okay, scientist lady, keep tearing that down. Uh, with you, let's have you come down here and I guess start disassembling that start disassembling that for parts it does look like we're getting screws and things back so that's good we have no weapons right now and i would like to have weapons uh, but unfortunately i think we're gonna have to look around a little bit there's some circuitry and like a machine over here there's a toolbox right there kind of curious if that would be helpful is this food over here it's laundry detergent okay i need like a floor that's gonna have food on it Looks like there's some food down here, so I'm going to push down a little bit further. I don't think they get tired or anything else like that. I, I think they just get hungry from time to time, and you got to feed them. So we should be in okay shape, and it's only like 2 in the afternoon. There's a lab table over here. All right. We've got a first aid kit, some bamboo. We've got rubber gloves. All right. Well, I want the canned food for sure. Uh, we also want the strawberries. So I'll grab what I can from right there for feeding people keep pushing downwards just like aggressively to grab whatever food we can grab because i want to create like a food hoard basically on the top floor that takes care of us a few more beverages on this side thirst is definitely going to be a problem in a survival situation like this i feel like i'm underutilizing my team but like there's so much micro you have to do in this game in order to be functional uh you do and i'm not a starcraft player so you know you keep disassembling things. Are you done up here? You are indeed done up here. So what I want from you then is to come down and work on that machine right there. And then Ike, where are you at? Ike's down here, and this floor looks like it has lots of food. And I'm glad we got down here before I needed to like fight my way down to this. Uh, grab every last scrap of food we possibly can from this floor. I think it's going to be important. Uh, don't do that. We can shake these things in order to knock all the stuff off of it so we don't have to click individually. But, like, I don't want to make noise. Uh, more canned food over here. Anything in the freezer? Looks like the freezer's kind of, like, devoid. Uh, anything down here? There's strawberries. Let's go get the strawberries. I want him to come back with an absolute armload of goodies. All right, so with Mo up here, you guys keep working on that. And then she's still working on that. Okay, we'll take it back down. You can double tap basically on any character uh, with like the number key or you can double click on them and it'll take you straight to that character so that you can kind of warp around very, very quickly. Uh, I don't see much in the way of food over here. We got a piston, some springs. I'm trying to kind of keep him on the job. It looks like they were growing stuff over here and we could probably continue with that task. I don't know what Anthurium is, but... We'll go ahead and grab that. Kumquats. Yeah. Oh, they're not ready to go. Okay. Ooh, more food down here. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. It's almost nighttime. So at some point, I'll probably have these guys fall back. Just glassware. Anything inside the fridge? Okay, it doesn't look like it. We got the remains of a couch. Ah, there's the zombies right there. So the zombies are down around the 10th floor right now. We're not quite on top of them yet, but, like, we're getting closer. All right, well, let's take you all the way back up, and let's have everybody have a powwow, like, on the roof, basically. Uh, with you, gather up all of the wood and all the little planks and all the scroogies and all the fasteners that you possibly can. There we go. I do think that the unit confirmations happen a little bit too frequently. Uh, they happen a lot. Uh, how many screws did that give me? 35 screws. Not bad. Okay, so you guys get back on the job over here and start working on that. Scientist lady, you've got nothing left on that side. Go ahead and disassemble the weights for me. Yeah. You wrote a paper about breaking down barbells? 
I have no doubt that that's probably an interesting paper to find on Google Scholar, but like, I doubt it. Uh, we've got metal rebar right there. Yeah, just keep reconstructing. Looks like he's working his way up. I actually, I think this map is actually pretty elegant right here. I like it. Uh, we're going to get into the RPG elements once morning gets here. Oh, the strawberries already regrew, huh? Interesting. All right, well, you break that down. Uh, open that up if there's anything in there. Go ahead and I guess we got to go from the top to the bottom while we're disassembling this stuff. Nothing inside the trash, so we'll just break it down. Like, I have no idea what stuff we're going to have by the end of this, but with all of our food supply on the roof, I feel like we're in good shape. So let's, like, organize a little bit, and we'll just make our food supply up here. We got some liquor right there. Got a big old pile of strawberries. I don't know if those go bad. That's a really, really good thought to have. Uh, but we've got some junk food right there, another s bit of canned food, and that's detergent. I don't think I need the detergent down here, so we'll stack it up in this room where we've got our crafting bench. Uh, there are crafting things that you can do inside of there. The crafting is directly linked to the knowledge that your characters have about crafting. Uh, so if your character is not good at crafting, they're not going to be able to do certain stuff. Uh, you can break that down for plastics. Just break everything you possibly can for the moment. And then if she wants to come down here... It does get dark pretty quickly, don't it? Uh, you can break that down. Uh, nothing inside of there, so I guess we'll just scrap it. Beware of the dreamers, survive the night. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Are they, like, on their way up? Oh, they are. They've actually made some distance. Okay, so they're working their way towards us right now. Haven't done combat in this game, uh, so I guess we'll find out how that works, too. Does a medical, does a metal pipe suffice as a weapon? No, it does not. Okay, so we're going to need to find other stuff in order to make this work. So give me, give me, give me Ike up here, and let's take a look at what we can craft. So for right now, it looks like if we have a pipe, we have a blade, and we have some leather, we can make a machete. We can make a spear if we have wood. We have twine and some rebar. We can make a spiked bat right here if we have wood and we have screws. I know we have that. So who's got my wood and my screws over here? You do? All right, bring your ass up here, and then we will make a couple of baseball bats so that everybody's armed. Uh, definitely make me one of those. For sure. Nice. I hope that you will because we need weapons. Uh, meanwhile... Let's have her kind of gather everything over here and figure out what we have versus what we need. I'll have somebody take a look at the helicopter in just a minute. Uh, looks like her inventory is indeed full already. I think there's still things in here that will stack. So I'll try to grab what I want, but yeah, the unit confirmations are kind of annoying. We gotta work on that. So inside the options, there is no option to, like, tone down the unit confirmations. Uh, I would definitely add an option to mute the, the unit confirmations. They happen pretty much every single every single command that you give, they happen. And that can definitely lead to being kind of an annoyance. Uh, I would just turn down the voice volume, except for the fact that the audio splitter is only sound and music. We don't have voice in there. And so that's another thing that I would consider adding. Uh, if we have a blunt weapon, we're going to be able to break into... Yeah, you come up here, and I want you to... Nope, not you. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I think the pockets are full. That's what she's telling me anyways. It feels like the pockets are full. Uh, store everything on this cabinet right here. Uh, the game does have a nice little feature where you can automatically stash things inside of, like, containers and whatnot, so that's kind of nice. I would like to build some more cabinetry up here, though, so that we've got it all set up. I do like the grid-based system they've got for, like, arranging items and laying them around. Uh, Big Mo, you get the baseball bat. There we go. I need you to make me another one. I don't know exactly what people's skill sets are, but I'm going to make a dangerous assumption here that, like, the dudes with the upper body strength might be good at smacking things. Uh, so let's take a look, actually. So we've got Jess. Uh, she's an electronics expert. Uh, so it looks like we can make her scavenge faster, and then we can make her pockets bigger. And then it also looks like we can make her better at plundering. Looks like she's got riot control over here, which means she's going to learn how to make... Ah, barbed bats, assault rifles, all that kind of stuff. Looks like over here we've also got automotive production lines, so I think there might be a little bit of a factorio element that maybe the game is leaning towards as well. It looks like we can also make a rotary minigun. We can make drones. 
Okay, good stuff. I'll probably focus her on being kind of scavengy. This guy's our mechanic, so my guess is he's going to be doing the lion's share of the repairs on the helicopter to get things up and running. But it does look like he's also got a military background, which means he can learn how to build guns and machine pistols and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if they're going to need ammunition or not. I have no clue, uh, but building guns seems good. She's a scientist, so as I figured, she's going to make all kinds of like supplementary things to tie down the zombies and kind of foam launchers. Uh, it looks like she's going to make pressure pumps, hydraulic cylinders. It looks like she's going to be responsible for manufacturing most of the stuff that Ike is going to need in order to make the, the helicopter run again. And then Mo. Uh, it looks like Mo is our strongman. Uh, so it looks like he's going to learn how to build and install things faster. Looks like he knows trapping. He's got leather working. He's good at farming. Looks like he can get stronger, and so he's probably going to be like our melee guy is what it looks like. It also looks like he can meditate, and he can carry some more items, so good things to think about. Uh, Ike, get down here and disassemble this. And then, now that you are empty, continue gathering up and sort of, like, getting everything into a location where I'd like it to be. You can break down the blender. Yep, just fill up real fast. Gather everything you possibly can. Like, if it stacks, it packs. Alright, back up here, and we will stack everything inside this cabinet that we possibly can. There we go. That added, like, a little bit to it, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky. I'm going to throw the screws on the workbench right there along with the pipes, and then we've got, like, a motor or something. Maybe we'll take the motor up and we'll leave. Well, maybe we won't. We'll put the motor over there. All right, so Ike is done down here, and it looks like he got some screws and things out of there. Uh, if I can get that baseball bat done, we can break and open these receptacles, and that'll give us access to some more food. If you want to grab some more food, I wouldn't be against it. That sounds good. Maybe do some light scavenging on this floor. How far up are the zombies right now? Oh, they're coming. Like, they've actually gone up by, like, seven or eight floors. All right. I'll probably send somebody down to fight them at some point, but I don't know. Not right now. Mm, if you want to break down some chairs, that sounds okay. But if the zombies start getting close, run for it. Hey, he's done with the bat. Nice. Okay. And can you make another bat? I think he probably can. What other stuff do we have available for building right now? So we've got pipes. I don't know if we have leather or blades, though. Uh, we can make crossbows. We've got a blunderbuss over here if we had, like, a pipe. That might work out. Shotgun shells. So you do actually have to, like, deal with ammunition problems. Uh, looks like we can make barbed wire and we can make wire mesh if we have the wires available. A basic casing, a multi-purpose casing for various gadgets. Okay, so we've got like the Raspberry Pi solution to a lot of these problems. We can also make an engine block and a hand-cranked engine. Uh, for now, let's stick to the simple stuff. Bludgeons that allow us to hit things in the face. Uh, come back down on in here and gather some things up. Uh, I do the same thing. Yeah, fill them pockets up, brother. Right oh, we found a blade. Very nice. Right okay. Well, I guess that solves one of the items that we didn't have available. We've also got some kind of hand pump right here. Man, there's a lot of items in this game. It's actually kind of mind-boggling how many items there are to fiddle around with. Uh, come back up here and we'll drop off some of this stuff. We've got metal sheets and whatnot laying around anyways, so... Chances are... Yeah, add that to the stack. We can throw the blade right there. We'll just try to keep it a little bit organized. The pump assembly can go right there. I, I need to come up with an organizational method. I think we're going to need to be able to move some of these racks around and maybe build, like, a new one up here. Did we get our level up yet? No, we did not get our level up yet, so apparently that happens, like, at a different time period. Nonetheless, you grab a baseball bat because I'm going to be using you as kind of my expeditionary force. If I've got wires around, we should definitely spool those up. We can add another metal sheet to that pile, and then we've got screws over here. So I'll throw those on the counter. All right, so he's almost got that final bat done. Uh, you've got the... Oh, we'll unlock a skill. Okay, uh, so we've got Ike as a former talented military pilot. Uh, we can get the combat shotgun. We can get aeronautics, so that'll make us craft and construct and install components faster. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. This right here will give us a gun receiver and a winch. 
So maybe I'll take that. Uh, with Jess, I want you to be able to hold more stuff. Oh, did she not get her skill points yet? Oh, do we only get one skill point for everybody? Oh, okay. Good information to be aware of. I went in one step back from that ledge, my friend. I've got a bat to smack a cat up in his face with. All right, let's go down here and let's beat this zombie to death real fast. I want to see what combat looks like, and it looks like he's coming up this way anyways. Uh, Ike, go ahead and stop on this floor. Oh, he went down a floor. Okay, let's go beat him to death real fast. Uh, you can go ahead and shake all the stuff off there to get it on the floor, and I want to see what combat looks like. Pretty tough. Seems like the zombies can take a little bit of a whooping before they go down. I mean, he's dead. It didn't proffer up any loot or anything that we could potentially use. But, you know, he's dead. We cleared him out. Took us a little bit of HP to get done, though. I think there was bandages laying around up here. Let me see what a bandage does and if we can use that to heal up our wounds. Uh, you can also have people assist each other, in case you were wondering. Uh, they can help each other out with tasks and whatnot. Uh, so with a cloth... Oh, it's just a fabric. Okay. So maybe he heals over time? I thought I saw a bandage laying around. That's plastic waste. Wasn't there a bandage in one of these rooms? I swear to God, there was bandage in one of these rooms. Hmm. Maybe with time he just heals. I don't know. Either way, let's start disassembling things here. I'd be sort of interested to find out if there's a way to move these objects because I would like to kind of make myself a little area that I can work inside of. Nonetheless, let's go look at the helicopter and let's get a rough idea of what we need to get the most basic repairs done uh, before I get locked in doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You come up and grab that baseball bat so that you can start breaking into things and scavenging stuff. So there's your baseball bat. We'll put that in your hands. And with the helicopter, it looks like we've got our airframe over here. So we've got main propulsion system repairs. Uninstall a component. Okay. And we've got propulsion systems over here. The landing gear repairs. We've got the airframe repairs. So it looks like we need... Okay, so it looks like it's subdivided. So we have the propulsion system over here. We have the diesel main rotor engine, I guess. So we can repair the airframe itself. And it looks like we can also repair the rotor engine for right now. Um, it looks like we can also... This window is not minimizing, but there's also a landing gear menu down here. So maybe if I open it and close it again. There we go. Uh, so with the landing skids, we can also work on those. So let's start with the general airframe. We'll start up the repairs right here, and we'll see what it wants. And so, like, if you work on this, I assume that, like, ah, there it is. So we need aluminum, we need metal panels, and we need screws to work on the airframe. Okay. Well, we got metal panels right here. Uh, I feel like I'm not utilizing my characters properly. But since there's no push pause, I think that's going to be a struggle for me anyways, because I'm not necessarily the kind of person that can like do massive amounts we need 24 screws okay so we've got the 24 screws we've got almost enough panels didn't I have some panels laying around over here too? come get these panels real fast okay so now we have enough panels and then I need aluminum do I have aluminum around it looks like we just have steel yeah so we're gonna need some metal panels if we want to make this work that's an antenna. The ventilation system is not done yet. You come break that down real fast. We've got wire right there. Looks like there's a diode and a chimney. More metal panels and a propeller, but that's not going to be helpful for the moment. So, yeah, we need to track down aluminum. That's going to be our next big go. And so, lady, if you can start breaking stuff until we find aluminum, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to focus on the task at hand. It looks like everybody's getting a little bit hungry, so I think we're going to have to feed them at one point or another. Uh, Mo, you have not been doing much, man. So come on down here, and let's get started. So we've got another blade right there. Uh, I come break this open real fast. We'll get the food all nice and picked up. I don't know if that makes, like, a considerable amount of noise, but we may draw some more people up to us. Hey, there was a bunch of food inside of there. What a magical world, dude. There's a whole bunch of cheeseburgers inside of a 
inside of a vending machine. Uh, just break down everything you can until we start finding aluminum around. Uh, I, my guess is that this file cabinet right here is going to have the aluminum that we need. What did Mo pull out here? So he got some plastic tarps, some leather, and an electrical engine. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you come down here and break your way on into there for a little bit more food. And hopefully we get aluminum out of one of these guys. Uh, now you start disassembling that too. I'll bring the food back up to the top floor once everything's all done. I don't see any aluminum right here, or nothing that looks like aluminum anyways. Yeah, keep keep scrapping things. Just tear everything down that you possibly can. Uh, Ike, you got any aluminum over here? We got glass and some screws. Yeah, break that down real fast. And then shake everything off the top of that. And then break it down, because I bet this guy will give us aluminum. I think the strawberries are like a renewing resource, so that might help out with the food a little bit. Uh, big man, keep working on that right there. She's still working on the antenna right there. I don't know if we can take the wall mount off right there too, but I think it's maybe something worth considering. That might be, that's steel right there, electronics, wood. It does give you a little preview of what's going to fall out of this stuff when you're looking at it. So the aluminum, I think, is like the big thing we need to look for. Okay, so apparently they're getting too hungry to work at this point. I'm going to have them come pick up some food. There you go. Munch down. Uh, as everybody starts to get hungrier, we'll take care of it. But I think we're in good shape for right now, dude. I brought back a lot of food. And we've also got food, like, laying around. Oh, food heals you. Gotcha. Okay, we'll keep working on that then. Uh, Mo, you've probably got some food laying around, so grab a little bit of that food. Ah, the sodas don't do quite as well, gotcha. Six sodas, my man's gonna have some serious gas right there, my man's gonna be having the burpees. Uh, some springs, looks like we got some leather out here. Uh, keep deconstructing computers and whatnot, still no aluminum. So I guess we're just going to have to get lucky with the aluminum, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're going to have to find these aluminum rolls around somewhere. Maybe there's like, I thought maybe the machine shop down here, but it don't look like that kind of trip. I'll be honest with you. Uh, if you want to come down to this floor, maybe we can break something down. There's a heating oil tank for diesel fuel. Okay. Cloth fabric. Yeah, just keep heading downwards. It looks like we've got a fire hose cabinet, too. Where am I needed? I'm sure we'll find something interesting around here. Uh, Big Mo, head on down to the next level. Who's still hungry? The scientist? She got strawberries, though. She'll be okay. We'll just strawberry her up. Perfect. Yeah, no real indicator of aluminum just yet. Uh, with her, Are you kidding me? what if we break this down? A washing machine's got to have aluminum in it, right? It's a washing machine. Like, my washing machine, I'm pretty sure, is made out of aluminum. So we'll try to get the first part of the helicopter fixed. Like, I wanted to make some kind of tangible progress during here, but honestly, I feel like the game works pretty well. Like, it's I, I would like to have a push-pause. I would very, very much like to have a push-pause. Uh, I'm sure the developers designed it this way for, like, a reason, uh, but I personally would like to have a push-pause. I do think in the options menu, there's a big room for improvement. Uh, being able to silence the unit verifications and whatnot inside of here, or at least turn off the voice would be great. I'd also like to see some graphical options for making it windowed versus making it, you know, full screen. Resolution options, that kind of stuff, language options options, things of that nature. I do like the layout of the map, and I think that's done pretty well. I don't know what the scale of the game is supposed to be and, like, how long you're supposed to survive out here, uh, but I am interested in finding out. So there's a decent chance that maybe I'll try to stream this game later on down the line. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for hanging out with me as I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. I hope you had a beautiful stay, and I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. See y'all then. Bye, everybody.